just today's game, right? Dude, Martin Odegaard. I mean, if Arsenal had this captain's curse where we, I mean, whoever touched their captain's arm and had something, either was perpetually injured or was a bad player or just couldn't do it or lost out, like went foul with the crowd. But man, Odegaard, I think that's the captain we deserve, we called for. And I think he showed it in this game. Fucking colossal from the very first moment until the last. Dude, that assist that he gave for the goal, that was sublime. Like that? the way he gave that pass and just, I mean, trust that finish was also even, equally even good. Right but... before the pass, the way he yeah, evaded the exactly. defender, right? Uh, that's like technical ability at the highest level. And then yeah. that pass, I don't think anyone else could have done that. Very, yeah, he... That level of creativity Creativity is like a very messu dozel kind of like you know, like situation. You need like a lot. Of- you can't taste yeah. this stuff. Like it's just like it's either there or it's not. And that is why you need these players against deep blocks, bro. Otherwise, it's just impossible. What the manager can do is like tell you where to stand and how to like you know move. But it's up to the creative players to create these moments so that. And then Trossard's yeah. finish. I don't think maybe Martinelli would have done it, but I don't think any other player probably Jesus would have like wouldn't have finished that well. If it was on the right side, I don't think Bukayo probably in this form would have finished it. Um, Havertz too. I think it was just someone like Trossard or Martinelli. Just two finishers. So it was just like a perfect combination of people who were there at that point in time. Yeah, I think a lot, to be honest, a lot of Arsenal players, Kivior again, big time left back dude. Like whatever he is, whatever position he's playing, whatever Arteta has taught him, he's come out clutch. He saved, at least in the second half, he saved us twice or thrice in one-on-one situations. And then there was this goal line, almost like a last day tackle, which was flagged offside. But I mean, again, just the defending, the tackle and the presence, it was huge. Especially we saw how Zinchenko struggled, man. Like, I think he's unfit. So I'll give him some credit there. But I don't want to see his face anytime soon. Guys, who's your man of the match? Would you pick Raya? Would you pick Odegaard? Would you pick Trossard? Raya, bro. Anybody else? Yeah. <laughs> Trossard, I didn't, have, I didn't think he had a great game. I think he had moments, one or two. But he was mm-hmm. pretty bad overall. But Raya, I mean, come on, man. Two saves. Yeah, there's, no, there's no hope. Yeah, yeah you one. can't. And the other person, like, I mean, Odegaard has a shout for the 90 minutes and especially for the first, whatever, 60 minutes. But Raya just took it away. Without him, there was nothing. So it's a unanimous decision to have Raya as the man of the match. And that yeah. is unbelievable for him. Probably his best game that we... And everyone's comfortable now calling him the number one. I think we were, but I think he now is Premier League's best goalkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. I'm down. Calm. Calm. <laughs> but that's what this is for. We can make whatever. And who do you think is going to... Uh, win the prem. How far is Arsenal gonna go in the UCL? In the UCL, I think quarters. Quarters done. Yeah. Who do you think we're gonna face? I mean, it could be like I can't predict who we're gonna who we're gonna face, but I have a feeling like who do you think we it's can? It's not beat? gonna end well. Who do you? You can. Hmm. I would say like Dortmund will be a tough game. Like even Porto should have been still easier compared to any of the opponents you might face going forward. And if you're going so close in a knockout game and winning on penalties, I mean obviously it's great for a moment, but it's a bit of a, like you you have to like keep yourselves in check because the teams coming forward are gonna be even more ruthless than Porto. But like Porto, like Porto have a style of play, right? Dortmund are gonna come attack yes. us. Dortmund are gonna play on the front foot and then they'll leave gaps behind. Porto came with a full-on game plan. I don't think Dortmund will play that way. And this game plan was consistent even in that, even in their home and even in... I thought they played better today than they played at today, their home. Yeah. I think in Porto, they were literally just like low block behind, done nothing. Just one shot they had. I have two but, things. Yeah, I see your point. Um, I have two things there. First is this one, right? The teams that you're playing. I mean, Real Madrid is not going to sit back, right? They're going to come at us. And that's that kind of is our game. Like, you know, open up. We probably will give a few chances. Hopefully not, given how good our rest defense and other defenders generally structure mm-hmm. is. But uh, that gives us spaces to play the ball. I mean, they have great players and all but the... They're people. also Madrid, right? No, yeah, but no. like... Even if Real Madrid yeah. is going to do all <laughs> no, that, like you. I agree, but they scrape past Lazio. So, not that they are in a great form. It's just, yeah, on paper, they are Madrid, of course. And they have the heritage. But they literally not Lazio whoever they were against like Leipzig sorry so they didn't have like great two fixtures they probably if I mean we could make a case that they shouldn't have I mean uh, the other team Leipzig deserved more but again it's muddled that's that's different what I'm trying How to say is we, test, can, we can make a case that they didn't have a good 22 final but they still they <laughs> no, win so, but they had, they had Ramos and they injured your best player no no right? that's 2018 so that's that's you know martial arts and all of that shit so the, leave that you have leave to that. count finals like yeah. yeah I can make a case that they categorically didn't have a good final and yet this somehow they still win it, it's just like 
if we get them we'll see we'll yeah. see if we can we can stand up with them i think it'll, it'll be a tall order i mean obviously it won't be easy but we'll see mm-hmm. but i think it, this was probably the toughest also because psychologically dude like you know going one nil down in the last minute away from home and playing against a pretty solid mid block which we couldn't break down last game week so maybe the way we won it is what we needed to give us psycho- i mean psychologically a big boost that we can do it on our not so great days and if we move on i mean today yeah. is just the day of positivity man in like last 2 minutes it just turned into yeah, raya yeah. love and arsenal the best team in the world from probably the world <laughs> No, but I I think if you guys draw Dortmund or PSV, definitely you guys are progressing. There is no way Dortmund and PSV are going to match up to Arsenal in the quality. And if it's PSG or maybe even Inter or any of those teams, Inter's I think beat us good... straight up. I accept defeat if we get into because their style yeah. of play is like completely negative to us. They're basically like PS, basically like Porto, but like ten times better in quality. So yeah, right, <clears throat> yeah. And I think trust uh, Arteta, yeah, man. Fuck all this. Trust Arteta. <laughs> Bar- yeah, we have. We have a generational manager Slap party. Slap Barcelona. With I think Arteta knows what Xavi is doing. Slap Barcelona. Yeah. We can do that. I think it'll be also one of those revenge moments, right? For But all the... guys, honestly, this moment right here that we're standing in is the highest that me and AJ have felt as fan, Arsenal fans. Highest. <laughs> Top of the Premier League and qualified for quarterfinals. I haven't felt that. Yeah, that was the, game, but... the last time we qualified for quarterfinals of the Champions League or Top yeah. of the Premier League. probably like not even then so i don't remember when we qualified last 14 years ago bro i like, remember so. that nicholas bender <laughs> scored the goal i remember that i remember the all english final was it all english where we played liverpool and lost mm-hmm. or something like that quarter final that, that was quarter final to the that is 7 7 7 8 season basically yeah. i remember time, those times but then those were the happy times where we could do something like this i'm we, talking about 9 10 probably 9 10 yeah so if we, we stood a chance that time yeah these days we feel like yeah I mean, until until last season we felt like yeah we were nowhere in there now we are so we'll see we'll see humble and move forward one game at a time yeah when's the draw when's the draw Friday for the morning next? it'll be tomorrow yeah abhinav knows everything <laughs> you know like, about competition so you know sure. not <laughs> if there is ever goes rule or can we draw the teams from the same country or not and when is the draw all of these things are like this pointers like how do you spot arsenal fans how are you from europe cool bro you doing the research for us lovely <laughs> you don't have to help but yeah and i promise you we'll watch your game against who you playing sparta praha you don't have to play we are leading 5-1 but anyway yeah what is sparta <laughs> praha bro i have heard of the exact opposite you no know, man last season you got knocked out to who sporting whatever that is lisbon something <laughs> yeah we don't now we're through we're past that step that's history no we don't look back top of premier league we can't we're in the big time <laughs>